guys welcome back to another episode and the last episode of the season for no man's sky so we're actually in a very fortunate position where we can check out the latest update and just explore some worlds and stuff like that so on wednesday yesterday uh they basically updated completely changed how the planets look add new creatures and new technology so we'll be looking at different planets today and just kind of quick fly by see how everything looks there's new water dynamics new wind dynamics and um tons of new effects and stuff like that so i definitely want to give a, a, a quick look before we um end the season and stuff like that uh we have some stuff going on here and oh before i forget we did get uh that building built i managed to do that over um, Wednesday, uh, I think I did it on Friday, or pardon me, Tuesday, uh, the last day of recording, and I actually had a settlement um, decision for uh, an NPC thing that came in, and I actually invited them. It cost us a little bit of debt, but the benefit was removing lazy the the lazy um, trait for the settlement, which actually increased profit by like. 100 units or something like that so we're actually out of debt now so um it was a good thing and we also have that market built now so we don't need to worry about that so uh let's get started we'll just um go ahead and get the uh logs from this and then we'll go ahead and uh start exploring and it looks like there's actually NPCs spawning on the ship now the freighter I just noticed that there weren't before for some reason, but that wasn't anything new really. Not sure how many of them are around here. Might just be two. Sometimes they spawn in these rooms. Yeah, there's one. Huh, okay. Anyhow, uh, let's go ahead to a new system. We'll warp there and we'll um, check some things out. I just want to make sure that everything on the freighter is working properly. And yeah, it looks like everything's fine. I had some uh, issues starting up the game, so I had to adjust the integrity of the game and stuff like that through Steam. So just to make sure, if you have run into a problem with loading your saves, that's probably uh, the best thing that you can do is just test the game's integrity through the settings. Alrighty then, let's check to see where we need to go from here. I want to go, uh, let's see
So we're going into a uh, volcanic planet now. Not sure how it will uh, look. Uh, the other planet that I was on didn't seem to change too much. Though I wasn't like there long enough to really appreciate it. But I did notice that there was a lot of cloud differences and stuff like that with the um, rendering. Like for example, you can fly through this cloud and it will have a lot different feel than what it had before kind of see it. It's more um, cloud-like, I would guess. It's a little bit pixelated, but it looks really good. So, apparently there's been a lot of effect changes and stuff, so I think this would be a perfect planet to actually take a look how it looks and stuff like that. I think I already see some sparks flying off my ship. Apparently trees and stuff also are affected by wind and things like that. I don't want to get too close to a volcano because I don't know if they actually do damage or anything like that. I know you can burn apparently in this game so that's a thing. Uh, we'll land somewhere around here and we'll take a look what it looks like on the ground. I can kind of see the ash and stuff the slower that I go. Oh yeah, this looks a lot different. This is actually pretty good. Alright, uh, let's go near some parts that are a little bit more volcanic. Just like, like ashes and stuff like that. Let's see here. So there's one creature. Side over there. That's another one. So yeah, it, the the effects are definitely present. These are um, definitely gives it a different feel to it. Before we didn't have like the ashes and stuff. Apparently there were sparks and stuff before or now as well. So it should be a lot more dynamic. Like this actually feels like you're on a. Um, ash planet and I'm sure it would even change more the if there was a storm or whatever and you can kind of see that plants are kind of like affected by wind and stuff too and I think it's all variable based so it might depend on a, a specific wind variable or something like that So we have an incoming storm at the moment and this gives us kind of like an opportunity to check to see how everything looks when there's a storm going on. I think this is a um, extreme planet as well, I'm not sure. Didn't see any of the uh, crystals but um, doesn't mean that this ain't a, isn't a extreme planet. But yeah, it looks um, a lot darker. Uh, the clouds have obviously clouded over. 
Uh, wind's a lot higher too. The um, the dust that was flying around uh, on the planet wasn't as fast as it is now. I'm not noticing too much plant life being moved around. In the video it looked like some other plants were actually being more affected by the wind, but some of the larger ones that you can scan doesn't look like there's too much movement. But the, uh, the, the speed of what the um, general foliage, like the grass and stuff, that seems to be moving a lot faster. I'm not sure if that's what it was doing before. Uh, being out there, I don't know if that would be great, but um, looks like there's something over there that we haven't scanned either. I don't know what that is. Might just be plants? Oh no, I've scanned those. Those are those uh, moth things. Okay. Uh, lightning. Some birds up in the sky. Yeah, it's definitely different. Uh, it feels more like a um, desert planet than just something that's um, more of a kind of like how it used to be, right? Because we've been on a few of those before in previous series as well, like the desert ones and stuff. And the, the uh, visual effects with the smoke and stuff definitely give it that extra ambient feel to it. Though the only... Thing that I kind of wish was some of the plants move and stuff. I think that's a worm. Yeah. I was wondering what that was at first. <laughs> Just like, uh oh. Should we take off? No, we'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, the only difference is with the, uh, the plants. I thought I saw some of the plants moving. Maybe they're planning on adding that in the future. This is only part one, they said, of the um, world updates and stuff like that. So who knows what they'll be adding next. Uh, they very well could be in the progress of updating all the actual plants, making them more dynamic and stuff. I would imagine with the amount of plants that there are in the game, it would take a while to update and stuff. So, um, yeah, outside of So I'm actually really impressed with how the water looks. I went back to the previous uh, system that just to, because I knew there was water there and looking at the uh, the water and stuff you can actually see through 
the water and see the bottom of the ocean and stuff like that which is really cool and there's reflection now and uh, I've noticed during storms and stuff the water does uh, get affected by wind right now it's relatively calm but it was pretty um, bumpy and stuff when it was actually there was an actual storm and it actually quieted, quieted it out a little bit uh, during the storm as well so I'm pretty sure it's affected by like some sort of wind variable and it's just really nice to see the water skies and uh, foliage get complete rehaul for um, this game and stuff like that so outside of that uh, definitely if you own the game check it out uh, explore the update again if you are not familiar with um, how to get the what do you call it the um, verify the game you can go into the game properties by right clicking on the game on Steam and then just validate uh, integrity under the um, one of the uh, tabs there and what that will do is it'll just make sure everything is in place again I had a problem with uh, actually booting up the game I actually couldn't load into the save but I did that and it was fine after so most of the time that usually fixes any game issues on Steam but Outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.